What's going on guys, go back to another fresh commentary. Now guys, we've been waiting ages for Nintendo to announce a new version of the Switch. Like an entirely new console to line up with the next gen consoles that recently came out like the PS5 and Xbox Series X. I mean, we did get a smaller version of the Switch a couple years back, the Switch Lite. But rumors and speculation kept going around for months that this year Nintendo would finally announce a new and improved Switch, like the Switch Pro. But no, they didn't announce a new Switch at E3 like we expected. They did a couple of days ago though after E3 announced a new Switch console coming out that we've been essentially begging them for a long time now because the current Switch we have right now can't run games properly. We need more stronger hardware to run games smoother and better. And this new Switch that they announced a couple days ago was the opposite of that. And while everyone is upset by this new Switch that got announced because it's nothing that we've asked for, we wanted an entirely new Switch. A new and improved one with a bigger display rather than the 2080 by 720 that comes with the original with stronger hardware besides the Tegra processor to run games smoother and better and so bigger games can get ported over to the Switch and just give the Nintendo Switch a nice refresher like the other next gen consoles that just came out. Like what made them think that people were gonna pay an extra $50 and the original $300 price tag to get a new Switch when you can spend that money on an entirely new console like the PS5. The Nintendo Switch OLED that got announced hardly anything has been approved upon. Yes the OLED features a slightly larger screen with OLED technology I mean, that's where it gets its name from. And it's going to have better contrast for games, features more storage, an improved kickstand and Ethernet port dock. And it's coming out very soon on October 8th, which is nice. And it also comes with this new white look. But this is all the things we haven't been asking for. Honestly, they gave us everything we haven't asked for and approved upon things that didn't really need to be approved on. Ethernet was never a problem. Just like the Wii, just get a third party adapter to use on the old dock and that's it. I've been using my Ethernet adapters on the original Wii and I still use it on my Switch. So the dock and not having an Ethernet cord has never been a problem. And the new kickstand is cool but nothing too crazy. It's really not worth the extra 50 bucks. We wanted a new version of the Switch that can output 4K, give us an improved battery life, better graphics for current Switch games, and of course improve upon the Joy-Con drift, which has been a problem since the release of the Switch back in 2017. It's been more than four years and what did they approve upon on this next gen Switch console? Everything else that we didn't ask for. The dock or ethernet port wasn't a problem. We just wanted a stronger console with a better display to use on the go and they did everything but that and that's why everyone is hating on this new Switch OLED. So much so that memes and people's frustrations with Nintendo has been going around on the internet lately. We just really expected more out of this new console. Switch had their hopes up for the next Switch console but it feels like the same exact thing with just minor improvement, a new white color, and barely anything improved upon. I want a new Switch that has a stronger battery life that won't die on me just on after 4 hours of playtime on the go and a new display to make games look amazing in 4k on my tv and maybe get rid of that black lining on the display that we've been asking for and give the switch pro a sleek look to it because this is just sad it's like the same console recycled after four years just another console to get more money out of marketing it as something completely new and more powerful the switch Lite makes sense a smaller more downgraded version of the original switch more convenient to use on the go 100 cheaper with new color options it makes sense but this new Switch OLED, there was no need for it. Like, this isn't the Switch Pro that everyone's been expecting. And that's why so many people have been hating on it. We really wanted something new and improved with this new Switch console after almost half a decade. But even after all the feedback from the community, Nintendo is still behind when it comes to next gen. And it's obvious they don't care what their fans think. And the fans are truly done with how much Nintendo has been disappointing us over and over again. Maybe now, because of all the hate they've been getting with the Switch OLED announcement, they'll change things around after the launch of this new console in October and give us the console we've been asking for in 2022 because this is just not it. They're basically selling the same Switch with hardly anything improved upon it for an extra 50 bucks in the original and they're calling it the next generation console from Nintendo. I really do hope Nintendo does better man because they've been letting down their community way too much and they're just tired of it. Most people hate this new Switch, some people actually like it, but I doubt current Switch owners are going to upgrade to this new Switch. It's more targeted towards people who don't own a Switch yet and for current Switch owners there's just nothing that this new console has to offer for us. In my opinion, from what I see, the only big thing that I see out of this new Switch is the new kickstand, because the one we had was too weak and small, and this one's actually pretty big, and I like it. But I don't think it's worth spending $350 on this console like I did a couple years back. I'm just gonna stick with what I have until they release, like, a new, improved Switch. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about this because the Switch OLED hate has been big. We just wanted something new, and this is just, like, so disappointing. At least, they could have 
expanded the display to fill up those black spots on our current Switch. I've seen so many Switch Pro fan concepts that they could have incorporated, and yet they basically just chose the same design. The only thing that changed was the kickstand and the actual dock, and that's it. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I post videos basically every day at 1 p.m. EST. I say basically because my schedule has been pretty bumpy lately thanks to my new job, but I plan on coming out with new videos back to back over the next couple days, so stay tuned. They're not always Switch videos like this one, but every now and then I like to talk about something big in the gaming community or something. But yeah, comment down your thoughts on this new Switch that got announced. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch to chat with me sometime, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.